guys and welcome to my next reaction to The Clone Wars. So today we are starting uh, season five of The Clone Wars, not with episode one, that's apparently coming later in the season, uh, but with the first story arc of the season and I'm really excited. Listen, season four was so good. It was so good guys that I, um, I just hope that this season kind of holds up the same um, quality throughout. That would be great. Also, I'm wearing my 3PO shirt today. I am wearing my 3PO shirt, so he better show up at some point in this arc. <laughs> I mean, given my luck, he probably won't, but I really hope to see him. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into it, and hopefully we uh, see 3PO. <gasps> Okay, I know Star Wars has been around a lot. I know it has. And that joke was has probably been made so many times before. C three P whatever. That just made me laugh. Okay, I'll shut up. Let's get into it. Unfortunately, the only way to reclaim Onderon will be through armed struggle, but without sufficient hardware and supplies. Onderon oh. is in your king's rule, and we await your answer. Oh, that look. There are pockets. This could be a great new weapon for us. Hmm. Hmm. Train and observe. I'm going with you. <laughs> what? You don't trust me? Too much. That's what worries me. Uh oh. I mean, they both make points, so. We've spotted them, sir. Uh oh. Allies or enemies. Identify yourselves. We're friends. Jedi. A bit rough around the edges, wouldn't you say? That's why I brought Rex here. They don't exactly what I would call shiny, sir, but I could work with them. Alright! Ahsoka is the reason I'm here, and not with Death Watch. She saved me from a huge mistake. Looks obviously thinks highly of you. I guess so. Let's hope that respect is well founded. Whoa! 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 Okay! Yeah, just do a bunch of backflips. Divide up Easy. into teams of two, and we'll practice an assault on both hatches. Oh! Oh! oh. Ah! Wow. I'm not sure if they're more interested in fighting the droids or each other. Oh, they'll learn. Uh, you sure you up for this? So it was an accident. You would have had us both killed. Just stop it. Oh my goodness. It's going to take a lot more than muscle to defeat the separatists. Also, the politics have failed us. We have no choice. We always okay. have a choice. Also, isn't this like a you know tough uphill battle? Can't we take all of the, the people who want to fight that we can't? You know what I mean? Like short of a cannon, we'll pierce it. Watch and learn. Oh my God! Oh, quite brilliant. Nice touch. Thanks. Oh, she does not. Sh oh, 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 there's a, oh, oh, there's, okay, there's tension, there's tension. Use your shoulder, let your arms swing, and keep your eyes on the target. Oh, no, not this love triangle. Great. Okay, let's get back to it. <laughs> That's so good. Everyone pair up. Oh, no. Impressive. Headshot is the only Oh, he's checking in. Shoot it, Will. Which one's Will? Wait a minute. What is that? Okay. Okay, well, hopefully, um, you, uh, are trained well enough, you know? No, 
no Anakin. We can only protect them. We cannot fight this war for them. You know, oh boy. You didn't teach us to run. So use your disruptors to take out the truck. Oh shit! Come on. Looks like an explosive. How can you tell? Not bad. That is only the first wave. You'll handle this. No, I will. Go! God! Oh! Ready to fight again? You got it! There will be more droids coming mm -hmm. now that they know your position. You're ready now. We are going to take. Well, we don't know that they're ready droids. now. You don't. Have they're designed to overwhelm. But they're not designed to deal with our approach. We hit them when they least expect it, and before they realize what happened, we like fade this. in with the rest of the population. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I have a feeling we'll be pleasantly surprised. So you admit our new strategy will work. I am hopeful, Anakin. Oh. Oh. We're doing pretty good. I have to You surprise me. Engaging with extremists is beneath you. Do you really want your crown back that badly? You've made it quite impossible to stay informed of anything outside my prison chamber. Oh, Hold shit. off the attacks. What you are up against is simply the will of the people. It's up to the king to embrace, bend, or break it. And I am no longer the king. Oh, shit. Stop the Gotta attacks. Gotta tell him. Or you will atone with your life. It is you oh my God. that must end the attacks. By ending the droid occupation. Oh shit! <laughs> I love he's like, I'm in a prison cell. What do you think I'm doing? Leave me alone. Judging from the reactions I saw today, I'm afraid they will mistake your intentions. We need to do more damage. A few dozen broken down okay. will do little yep. to free on to run. This the guy's need really to do aggressive. Can succeed. I don't understand. Why are they afraid? They're afraid we're not strong enough to win. Perhaps if we hit something big, give a show of strength. Oh, overcome their fear and join us. Do you have something in mind? I know the perfect target. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, I think they're ready to give the 501 some competition. Let's not get carried away, General. <laughs> Though, these rebels have impressed me. We will yeah, share the developments sure. with the Jedi Council. Remember your purpose. Girl. So that might be me more love triangle shenanigans. Okay. Mike. <laughs> we use their own weapon against them. We bring the droid army to its knees. Um sure. Yeah. I'm a little nervous. Shh. He even shook it aggressively. He's like, shh. They didn't say anything. That was good. That was good. Okay. Let's go. Ew. Okay. Was okay. that, was that, that was too aggressive. Oh! Oh, it worked! Oh. Oh. Nice job! You screwed me up! 
Got it, girl. There we go. Go team. I've never seen a destroyer taken out that way before. We all have to adapt. She is quite the shot. You know what you're doing. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. You boys having a problem? Oh no, my god. No the pressure. Well, well, come on. We need to get moving. Okay. I'll put you in charge. All right. Get out of the tank, hotshot. This tank is on his defense. He really didn't have that much time to. <laughs> like, I was gonna do that. Them will also determine your capacity to represent them against your enemies, even within your own ranks. Aww. Your commitment will inspire others. You will need a leader for them to rally behind. Uh oh. They all wage you. Oh, more before. tension while they pick the leader. Your forces cannot manage a small band of terrorists. Oh. Your droids have become ineffective against the mounting rebel attacks. This is what he blames everybody but himself. But the rebels are far more organized than they were in the past. Mm -hmm. The attack against the power generators proves that. I not only send you better droids, but a better general. This is Kalani. I assure you he will succeed where you have failed. Oh! Need to Dude was like, don't you try to blame me for anything. Attacks to keep Sir. The balance. Onderon is ours. We will remind everyone. And keep reminding them until we get it back. Oh. All in favor of Steel as our leader. <gasps> Raise your hand. Oh. Oh, damn. Okay, you're the leader. Saw. So, oh. Let him go. He just needs to blow off some steam. He's, He'll be back. He's all salty. Okay, that brother. didn't work. That didn't work. I really am enjoying this story so far uh, because I love, I as much as I love the main cast of The Clone Wars, and I do, I do, it's nice when we focus on some other people and planets and just communities of, of how the war is affecting them. I've talked so many times about how much I actually like when they expand and, and showcase how the war, you know, is affecting different places in the universe and people with different ways of life and, and, and all sorts of stuff like that. Um, I also loved the concept of how can we help these people 
Um, I think in the beginning, uh, when they were having the, the meeting um, about it, I think Anakin and Obi-Wan made very good points. You can't necessarily, you know, you, you obviously want to help and, and this could be a, a really great um, thing, especially for, for their side and everything. But at the same time, you have to, there, there are rules to be um, considered. And I think there's also, you know, just the fact of, um, though it would seem like a really good idea in this instance, it could set a precedence for maybe a, another time that it, it isn't good. And then it turns into picking and choosing when you help or when you don't or, you know, whatever. Um, and, uh, so I actually really liked that aspect of it. And I know that that was focused on a little bit more in the first episode, how, you know, Anakin and Obi-Wan had kind of differing, sort of, approaches or opinions on the, on the matter, but they, you know, at the end of the day, they kind of were able to all work together, which is really, really great. Um, but I love the focus. I love the focus on, you know, uh, I love it when they focus on uh, different planets or whatever that I, as much as, again, as much as I love the main cast, I kind of like sometimes when they focus on other people because the stakes are a bit higher. You don't know who's going to make it, who's not going to make it. And um, I also love the fact that these people seem to be fairly competent fighters. Um, it's not, I don't know, I, sometimes when you think of a, a plot line that's like, we're going to teach these people how to fight, and then they're, you know, maybe they're not really all that great at it, but they were really doing what they needed to do, you know, they were taking in the tools that the Jedi were giving them, and and the instruction from from Rex and, and and everything like that, and they really applied it. And they're trying to make smart decisions. Um, I really like the the way that they're all working together. There's a lot of tension in between these characters, and you know, <clears throat> but also for the most part, what I think also makes them slightly likable is that they're not letting this tension um, distract them from the main goal. I mean, we have two more parts left, so that might that may come up, but um, you know, obviously, there's a, um, a lot going on between you know, there's Lux and this guy. I think his name is Saw. Um, this guy, they obviously have um, you know aggression towards each other. You could tell that that, that Saw does not, you know, um, kind of thinks that you know, politicians got us into this mess to, you know, you know, we just have to fight. And, and he seems to be very impulsive and very, you know, aggressive with it. Um, but, you know, uh, I, I, and then obviously, uh, Lux is, is very aware that, you know, maybe, um, only fighting is, is not the entire right answer. Um, but I really like Stila, is that her name? I apologize if I get the names wrong. Um, but she, I think that she was probably the best pick for a leader out of the, them. Um, maybe just because she seems to have a decent head on her shoulders. And it's kind of a good middle ground between the two of them. I like that a lot. Um, obviously, there's a little bit of, you know, just a... I feel bad for Ahsoka, you know, um, something that obviously we've, we've talked at length in, in the past of how much she's grown in the series and, and she has, and she's become, you know, I loved that we, we got to see her kind of in the earlier seasons and stuff, maybe make some mistakes, maybe not do exactly the right thing, but then we've seen her mature but as as kind of a fighter, as a leader, as a soldier, and all of that stuff, and sometimes we kind of lose sight of the fact that she still is 
growing up in the sense of uh, teenage angst <laughs> feelings. You know, we've all been through um, when you have like your first crush on somebody um, and then maybe it's not reciprocated or, you know, whatever it is, right? Um, anything like that. And the, no matter who you are, I mean, and it really stings the first time that happened. You know what I mean? I'm not saying it doesn't sting other times. I'm just saying that like, you know, that that's something that I feel like a lot of people um, go through. And it's one of the things that, uh, you know, I think she's trying her best to keep it under wraps. And I appreciate, I appreciate that Anakin is looking out for her so much. And he, cause he, you know, he's, he can see, he can see what's going on and, and he knows that it's a little hard for her. Um, and, but I think she'll still stay focused in my opinion. I don't think that she'll get so distracted that, you know, um, <laughs> maybe I'll... <laughs> Regret saying that after the next two episodes. I have no idea, but I I think that she'll still stay stay fairly focused um, but it's something that You can never know when that's really gonna hit you when you're growing up and whenever Something like that's going to come about um, You know, she was probably really excited to see Lux and then you know to see that, that he there's possibly some feelings between Lux and and Stila Oh my god. I hope that's her name. Um, it hurts a bit and, you know, um, I don't know. I, I think that, uh, uh, I like that they are kind of sprinkling that into this story, but it's not the main focal point of this story. Um, and we'll, we'll see how everything kind of turns out in the next two parts. But I really, I really enjoyed it. I found it really fascinating and interesting. Um, uh, and the, the idea that the Jedi have to, they can only protect, they can't really, you know, aid in the fight or anything like that. So it's really up to, uh, up to these people to, to do it on their own. And, um, yeah, I've, I've really, really enjoyed these first two parts of this story. So hopefully the next two are just as good. All right, if you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it. But if not, I'm just happy that you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.